Now uh, here uh, I'll discuss uh, TPC eleven. That's a D arrangement theorem. Now uh, uh, let's take an example to understand uh, what is this theorem. Suppose there are two letters and two envelopes, and these envelopes are corresponding envelopes. Suppose this letter uh, should it's it, the correct position of this letter, correct envelope for this letter is this, right? and correct letter for this envelope is this so basically this letter should go into this envelope and this letter should go into this envelope so number of ways if we have to just uh, answer this question that number of ways in which we can place these two letters in their corresponding envelopes in their respective envelopes then answer is one one way and and or we can say in how many ways we can do uh, we can do our uh, job right placing the letters in their corresponding envelopes the answer is one this letter should go into this envelope this letter should go into this envelope the one way now if, uh, if my question is in how many ways we can do it wrong in how many ways we can place letters in envelopes so that both the letters should not go into their corresponding envelopes both the letters should go in wrong envelopes so that is possible when this letter go, goes to this envelope and this letter goes to this envelope mm. and again the answer is one way one way to place both the letters in wrong envelope right now same thing can be done using d arrangement theorem the one this uh, wrong way both wrong so we have found the answer both wrong both letters go into wrong envelope in one way now d arrangement theorem says that if we have uh, uh, suppose r objects and there are or let's take an, an example there are n objects and there are n places for n objects to be placed there so these are the corresponding positions for these n objects and then the the it is it is like it is marked that this is object one should go into this first position object two should go into the second position so basically for every object the corresponding position is marked corresponding uh, uh, holder container is marked that the third will go in third fourth will go in fourth fifth, right so that if we have to place all of them correct the answer is one now if a derangement theorem says that if we have to find number of ways to place these n objects in n of these places their corresponding places then in how many ways we can do that in how many ways we can place them so that no object should go to its corresponding container no object should be placed in its corresponding placeholder all objects should go into wrong placeholders so uh, the con concept is the the idea is that wrong all go wrong all go wrong none of them is in its corresponding position so the according to dearrangement theorem it is n factorial all go wrong is n factorial 1 minus 1 by 2 factorial so it's an alternate plus minus signs and you keep on increasing uh, the numbers in denominator 2 factorial 3 factorial alternate plus minus sign 4 factorial plus minus goes on till the last term last term is 1 by n factorial if you want to see the sign you can say minus 1 to the power n if it is even number uh, if it is n is even then uh, sign is minus sign so it, you can say minus 1 minus n minus 1 right but I don't think you need to remember this because you have to go all in alternate plus minus minor right uh, now uh, let's 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 come back to this example <coughs> oh uh, sorry there's a mistake i've done here I've, it is n factorial one minus one by one factorial i missed out this term one one by two factorial minus one by three factorial goes on plus minus so finally the power should be n or minus one the power should be n right so i missed out the one factorial term so once you start cutting or you can say zero factorial one one by zero factorial <coughs> so either it is one or one by zero factorial minus one the goes on this is the d arrangement theorem to place n objects in n of n, n corresponding positions so that no object is placed in its corresponding position okay, n objects n places none of them is placed in its corresponding position so in this case if you would we would have applied formula two factorial one minus one by one factorial plus one by two factorial you would have get got the answer one right you can check answer is one answer is one now let's take an example of three uh, objects there are three letters three envelopes 
number of ways to place all correct if you have to place three at uh, letters in three envelopes in how many ways we can place them so that all three letters go to their corresponding envelopes all should be correct the answer is one if you have to answer question one correct sorry uh, all correct let's reduce uh, two correct and one wrong so it is all correct means zero wrong two correct one wrong so it means suppose uh, if you say these two letters are placed in their corresponding envelopes and this goes wrong not possible how is this possible because if two letters are placed in their corresponding envelopes one letter cannot be placed in the wrong envelope because the only leftover envelope is the is corresponding envelope so it has to go right right or we can say let's do the wrong one first if i say i'll put this wrong i'll put this letter in this envelope so it goes wrong then it means i have consumed i have utilized the envelope of this letter so there's no option this letter has to take some other envelope so either it will take this envelope or it will take this envelope so at least two will go wrong right one wrong is not possible so this is not possible <coughs> we say one correct two wrong yes possible we choose one letter that will go in correct envelope 3c1 out of three which choose the one which will go correct place that in one way in the current envelope and then the two are left two objects are left and we have to place both of them in wrong so we can apply uh, let, let me write here one correct two wrong one correct we select correct one out of three place it correct and then now two letters two envelopes are left over and we have to make sure both of them should go wrong two go wrong means both go wrong we apply de arrangement two factorial one minus one by one factorial plus one by two factorial right now third case can be all three wrong three wrong we can say zero correct three wrong same as all wrong all wrong means de arrangement theorem three factorial one minus one by one factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial and simplification answer is 6 uh, it is half minus 1 by 6 into 6 answer is 3 answer is 2 sorry uh, sorry uh, all go wrong answer is 2 yes <coughs> and if you take example of 4 letters it's the same thing if we have to say all correct correct wrong all correct four correct zero wrong is one way three correct one wrong we saw it is not possible one wrong is not possible two correct two wrong two correct means select two which will go correct and we place them in correct way in one way and two go wrong the arrangement three correct sorry one correct three wrong select one that will be go correct that will be placed correct and remaining three should go wrong the arrangement zero correct all wrong straight away the arrangement sorry one factor <coughs> one minus one by one factorial plus one by two factorial one minus one by one factorial plus one by two factorial minus one by three factorial all go wrong minus one by three factorial plus one by four factorial right so based on what we have to answer how many wrong and how many right we have to find answer will do correspondingly so uh, you can just uh, go through the illustrations based on this tpc that is like 54 55 uh, that's all 54 and 55 right for illustration 54 and 55 and if you think that i need to i need to discuss these illustrations let me know i'll, I'll solve them uh, I'll, I'll give you the video solution so on the basis of this 